Hey everyone, welcome to another training video in SC200 Microsoft Security Operations Analyst series. In this training video, I will cover the module on configuring and managing the automation in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. In this module, you will learn about the configuration of advanced features of Microsoft Defender for Endpoint and managing the automation settings. Key learning objectives of this module are configuring the advanced features of Microsoft Defender for Endpoint and managing the automation settings in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. My name is Navneet Kumar and I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer. In case you are new to this channel, please do subscribe it for future updates. In Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, the advanced features provide the powerful control to fine-tune the protection, detection, and response capabilities for your organization's endpoints. These features are designed to offer the granular control over how Defender for Endpoint operates and allowing you to customize your security environment to meet the specific requirements. Here I will show you some of the uh, advanced features of the Defender for Endpoint as you see in the screenshot. Under the advanced features, there are dozens of settings for advanced security features that you can turn on or off using the toggle buttons. These features are self-explanatory. If you look at some of them, for an instance, restricting correlation to within the scoped device groups, the setting allows you to limit alert correlation and investigations to only the device group that you have defined. Instead of correlating the data across all the devices in your organization, the Defender for Endpoint will only consider the alerts and activities within the scoped device groups. This scope helps you to reduce the uh, correlated alerts and limiting the scope of investigation. The use cases for this can be ideal for any environments with segmented networks or the different device categories. For an instance, you have workstations, servers, mobile devices, or IoT devices. This setting ensures that the alerts are more relevant and tailored to specific devices. This can reduce the noise and improve the investigation efficiency. If you have a group of device that are particularly high risk, for example, some servers or admin workstations, then you can scope the correlation to focus only on that group and not across all the endpoints. This will help you to investigate the attack in an efficient manner. The second feature that you see is to enable the EDR in the block mode. When you enable the endpoint detection and response in the block mode, then this means that the defender for endpoint can automatically block the threats in real time based on behavioral detections. When a threat is identified, for an instance, a malicious process, the defender will block the malicious activity immediately without waiting for an investigation or the alert. This mode is particularly useful for environments where you need immediate threat containment and rapid response to prevent further damage. This can be blocking the ransomware or stopping a malicious process before it spreads out. For an instance, if Defender detects unusual behavior, such as a process that is trying to encrypt the files or make suspicious network connections, it will automatically block that process to stop the attack in its tracks. Next feature is automatically resolve the alerts. This feature enables the Defender for Endpoint to automatically resolve the alerts once an automated investigation or remediation process has been completed. This can help reduce the alert fatigue and ensure that the closed issues are removed from the active alert queue. The example for this can be, for an instance, if an investigation includes that a detected threat was contained or remediated successfully, the alert can be automatically closed, so it does not remain in the system. In Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, 
Automation capabilities can be customized to optimize your organization's threat investigation and remediation processes. These settings include the file content analysis, memory content analysis, or automation folder exclusions. This enhances your automated investigation by ensuring that the critical files and system components are properly analyzed while also offering the flexibility to exclude certain files or folders from the investigation. If I talk about the file content analysis, the setting enables the Defender for Endpoint to automatically upload certain files and email attachments to the cloud for additional inspections during the automated investigation. The Defender for Endpoint will evaluate these files for potential malicious content, for an instance the viruses, malware or other indicators of compromise. This is particularly useful for detecting and analyzing the suspicious files that may not be easily identified through the traditional antivirus or signature-based detections. Memory content analysis enables the memory content analysis defender for endpoint to automatically inspect the memory content of the processes that are running on the devices during an automated investigation. When this feature is turned on, the memory related data such as malicious payloads or the behaviors hidden in the memory is uploaded to the Microsoft Defender for Endpoint for deeper analysis. In automation folder exclusions, the, the feature allows you to specify the specific folders, file extensions or file names that should be skipped during the automated investigation process. This feature provides the flexibility by excluding certain folders or files from being uploaded for investigation or analyzed, typically to avoid the unnecessary resource consumption or to prevent the inspection of trusted or known safe data. This is useful when certain folders contain the trusted files or the data that you know are safe and do not need to be analyzed. These can be system files, backup folders, or certain applications data that is exempt from the investigations. By excluding these, you can avoid the false positives and reduce the overhead in the investigation process. Why shall we use these advanced features? The reasons can be improved efficiency, reduced overhead, and the customization capability. In a nutshell, the file content analysis automatically uploads the files including the email attachments to the cloud for the deeper inspection during the automated investigation. The memory content analysis inspects the memory content of processes to detect the threats like files, malware during automated investigation. Automation folder Exclusions allows you to specify the folders, file extensions, or the file names to be excluded from the automated investigation process. By configuring these settings, the Microsoft Defender for Endpoint enhances its ability to automatically investigate, remediate, and respond to the threats in a more targeted and efficient manner. This allows you to strengthen your organization's security posture with minimal manual intervention. Block at risk devices with Microsoft Endpoint Manager, you can turn on the Microsoft Intune connection from Microsoft Defender XDR portal or turn on the Defender for Endpoint integration in Endpoint Manager, create the compliance policy in Endpoint Manager, assign the policy and then create and enter ID conditional access policies to block the risky devices using the Microsoft Endpoint Manager. This brings to the end of this module. I hope this was informative to you. In the next video, I will talk about configuring for alerts and detections in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. In case you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please do subscribe it for future videos. Thank you.